okay so uh, this is about uh, the 30 hours program the agenda for 30 hours program that we will be covering in next few days for AWS okay now having said that let me also introduce to the curriculum for DevOps so DevOps is going to be another 25 hours right so in DevOps we will be covering all these things first uh, we will understand what exactly DevOps is okay how is it the amalgamation of developer and operations how it overcomes the conflicts between uh, developers and operations that uh, an IT company has okay and uh, after that after learning that we will learn version control or source code management using a tool called git so we will be covering git in this uh, entire curriculum then after that we will uh, learn about Vagrant. Now Vagrant is the software using which you can spin up the virtual machines on premises. Okay, so like in AWS we will learn how to spin up the virtual machines in the cloud. In uh, Vagrant we will learn how to spin up the virtual machines on premises in your own data center then after that we will learn about ansible we will look into the various nitty gritties involving ansible we will use ansible along with aws we will talk about playbooks okay we will talk about yaml uh, that is the programming language in which uh, playbooks are written then uh, after covering ansible we will start chef now chef is the configuration management tool which is con which is considered more complex as compared to ansible but uh, uh, it, it will be fun uh, learning chef it involves the concept of cookbooks and uh, recipes written in ruby so we will have a deep look in uh, chef and uh, after covering chef we will also learn puppet so Puppet is not mentioned here, but uh, uh, we will definitely learn Puppet. In that, we will learn about uh, manifests, modules, and uh, how exactly Puppet performs the deployment on the Puppet slaves from the Puppet master. So that will be the agenda on the continuous deployment side. After that, on the continuous integration side, we will learn a software called Jenkins which is continuous integration server and uh, there we will perform some builds on the sample code of application we will test those applications and once the test is successful we will package them and finally deploy them on the production servers using a tool called Chef okay now after chef uh, we will jump on to the monitoring services because monitoring is also very important once the application is deployed on the uh, on the uh, on the production server that is the time to monitor the application so we will go with nagios to monitor and cloudwatch also does the job but uh, that is on the amazon's end in the cloud then we will talk about uh, microservices, containerization. In containerization, we will talk about Docker, and uh, we will also talk about Kubernetes, which is doc Docker Orchestrator. That is the Docker Manager. So we will look into detail in all those services. So that would be the agenda for next uh, 55 hours and uh, uh, it will be uh, interactive sessions. I will explain and uh, 
I will ask questions from you. So most of the times it will be like very less theory, 30% theory and 70% uh, hands-on. 70% will be like uh, hands-on demonstrations. Okay, so uh, the curriculum has been designed in such a way so that you do not lose the interest. All right, and uh, trust me that uh, uh, you will keep on the interest it all depends like after the class you watch the videos and you practice the stuff on your own all right any questions for me till now uh <clears throat> raj anu rajan no that no now, this is a lot of material you think uh, we uh we'll, we'll be good with it we can learn yeah sure uh, why not i mean uh end of the day we are uh, we are dealing with a professional course and uh, no professional course is uh, less than 20 hours so uh, after that you will be uh, you will be required to perform the hands-on demonstration in your job so yeah all this uh, is uh, uh, quite essential when it get, comes to getting a job and this is mostly practical, like you said. Mostly practical. 70% practical, 30% theory. That's good. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Any more questions we have right now? Okay. Jaydeep was there. Uh, I think he has left. Any Anyone knows what exactly is the reason Jaydeep leaving? Probably he might have some work or something. I don't see no message in, I don't see any message on WhatsApp or uh, here. Mm -hmm. Okay, no well, problem. That's his loss. <laughs> uh, yeah, I will, I will talk to uh, Naveen about it. Uh, no issues. So, uh, that was the introduction or demonstration that I want to give in the first class. And uh, if you are okay, just pass on the feedback with uh, Naveen and uh, we will start uh, the batch from tomorrow, same time. That will be 8 a.m. IST, my time, and uh, 9.30 or 11 p.m. Uh, as per your time. All right. So anyone, uh, everyone, if you do not have any questions, I'm good for today. Please talk to Naveen after the class and uh, we can start from tomorrow. We, we need to give uh, you our email address. Uh, yes, absolutely. If you can, uh, thanks for reminding me that. Uh, if you can ping me on the chat window, you see a chat window there. So yes. if you can ping me your individual emails on the chat window so that I can forward the recordings after the class. Okay, Rajan has uh, sent. Okay, I have got for Raj and I have got for Anoop. All right. Thank you, everyone. And uh, let us meet again tomorrow. And we will start uh, full-fledged with the uh, AWS and DevOps. Last thing, is this every day? It will be Monday through Friday. So Saturday, oh. Sunday will be all. Okay, okay, I see. And uh, we expecting some homework or like something uh, we should do after, you know, after the class? Sure, I agree. So after the class, uh, I will give you the assignments on daily basis. So you can, uh, you can practice that as well. Okay, well, uh, last thing, thank you for doing this. You're welcome. And uh, really appreciate all of you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Let us meet again tomorrow. Thank you.